In the last video of building Security Breach in Minecraft, we went ahead and built all of the walls and floors for all of the four sub-entrances that went to all four of the attractions. In this episode, we will be moving on to building all of the walls and floors for the entirety of Chica's Bakery. This episode, we will finally be able to finish all of the walls and floors for the main atrium itself, and I'm glad that we are able to move on to something completely different afterward. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the video. Now, coming back over towards the bakery, we're going to go ahead and first place in the floor. So with your red concrete, we're going to go ahead and come right down to where we first ended off, and we're going to go ahead and bring this all the way out until it is three blocks away from this wall in the back. So right from here, it is one, two, three, three blocks away, and this is going to line up right with this end here. And then once you have this exactly lined up, what you're going to go ahead and do, you're going to fill this whole little area in with your red concrete, and then place your red concrete powder right on top of it. After that, we'll go ahead and place some of the tiles around the side. So go ahead and do this real quick, and I'll be right back. Then, once you have done this, you're going to go ahead and grab your white, light gray, and gray concrete, and you're just going to go ahead and bring this... And you, you literally, we're going to bring all of these tiles all the way around the side, and we're going to stop it right by these stairs. Once we have it by the stairs, we'll go ahead and move on to building the, or we'll go ahead and move on to this floor here, and then the walls around the whole place. So, literally, all you're going to do is the exact same thing here, is just bring all of these tiles around here, and after the stairs, and around the red carpet. And uh, I will show you what this looks like once it is done. So, I'll be right back. Alright, this is what it looks like once it is all complete and all filled in with the white, light gray, and gray concrete tiles, just like the take care. Now, we're going to do a little something similar that we did with this part here. With our red concrete, we're going to go ahead and lower this down two blocks away from the end on both sides. And this is what we're going to go ahead and bring all the way out. And it's going to go all the way to the end of this door and stop right there. Same thing here, just go two blocks away. And the center area is going to be filled in with our red carpet once again, or red concrete powder. And then on both as, on both sides, it is going to be two blocks wide of the tiles that we did here. So this part, you're going to go ahead and fill in with all of your red concrete and red concrete powder. And I'll show you what it looks like once it is done. Now, once it ends up looking like this, you're going to go ahead and grab your uh, white, light gray, and gray concrete. And we're just going to go ahead and make these exact tiles. Now, since this is two blocks wide, it is a little bit different. So, just make sure your gray concrete, or whatever concrete you're using, lines up exactly. So, two blocks wide, not going to be that difficult. It's just going to go all the way to the end, and I think you get the point. You're going to go ahead and come all the way up to here, and down on this side too. And I will show you what it looks like once it is done, so I'll be right back. Now that we have the full floor complete for this main hallway, we're going to go ahead and start raising up the walls. So, what you're going to go ahead and do with your polished end in sight is go on every single polished end in sight pillar. And we're going to raise this up exactly to where it meets the roof. There, there's no need for our block of netherite on this either. It is going to line up right there. And you're going to raise these up exactly to this height on every single polished end and sight pillar. I will show you what that looks like once it is done. That will raise up all of the main walls. So I will be right back. And there we go. Every single polished end and, polished end and sight pillar has been raised up. Now what we're going now what we're going to go ahead and do is grab your bricks and we're going to go ahead and raise these up 3 extra blocks high on every single block. And when you get over to this side because this part is 2 extra blocks high. Don't worry, just keep it the exact same height as these walls right down here. And you're going to do the same thing on this side too. Now, once you have the bricks up, you're going to go ahead and with your spruce planks add 4 extra layers cuz the bricks are 4 extra or our four blocks, we just added three. So here we're going to go ahead and add four spruce planks, four layers of it, until it lines up exactly to the top. It will also line up exactly with the polished end in sight. So you're going to go ahead and raise all of these up to the exact same size, or the exact same height of the polished end in sight pillars. And you're going to go ahead and do this all the way around. Skip this door part, we'll go ahead and add in that. And just while we're at it, right over here, we'll go ahead and add in this door. So this door is kind of similar to this door down here. It is closed off. So we're just going to go ahead and grab our... We don't need our gray concrete. We already have that. White and red concrete, because this door is closed off. And it is only three extra blocks... It is only three extra blocks high, if I'm correct. I believe it is this height, and there's nothing else to it. So a closed... like th To make the word closed, I don't know. So I'm literally just going to go ahead and make something like that. It's kind of cursed, but it's going to have to do for now. 
Um, that's really it. So now that you have that, just go ahead and do the exact same thing with the walls. Three extra blocks of bricks on every single wall. And then four extra layers of spruce planks going all the way around. Go ahead and do all of that real quick on every single wall in this entire hallway, except for that door part back there. And I'll show you what it looks like once it is complete. So I will be right back. This is what it should look like once it is all complete. All the walls around it should be this exact height and should look just like this. Four blocks high of bricks, four blocks high of spruce. Now for this door back in back here that leads into the main bakery. We're going to go ahead and get rid of all of these blocks and place one layer of black concrete right down here. Then we're going to go ahead and skip two blocks high and just place our black and white pattern just like this. Going all the way to the end, place your polished black stone on top of it and our green concrete, just one layer of green concrete. Now since this is a door that represents um, one of the doors to Monty Golf, uh, I don't remember the exact texture, so I'm just gonna grab orange and purple, space them two blocks apart, and end up with something like this. Now with your pink concrete, this is just the wall that comes all the way around the door. There's no polished in sight on this door that goes around it. And it will end up lining up just like this. Now that we have that, just, just to put on the roof for the whole hallway, We'll go ahead and do the, just do that right now. So go ahead, of course, you're going to need your block of coal. You're going to need your sea lanterns and your black stained glass. So I'm sure by now you know, just like we've done um, with like the Phaser Blast area or some of the hallways that are under here, I'm sure by now you know, we're going to go ahead and place an outline of our coal block going around the whole entire hallway. And then on the inside of that, we're going we're to go ahead and place our black stained glass right next to it. So it will look like this around the whole entire hallway. For this part here, just place your black stained glass across it and fill it all in. And then right here, just once again, your block of coal going on top of the whole wall. I'll show you what this looks like once it is done, and then we'll place all these stars on top of it. So go ahead, do all of that real quick, and I will be right back. Now once you have done that, as you can see there is a layer of black stained glass all around the block of coal that went around the whole entire edge. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is place all of our block of coal on top of every single piece of black stained glass. This may take a little bit of time for you, but it won't really be that difficult. Just place it all along here, and then we'll go ahead and just randomly place some stars around or using our sea lanterns, and then we'll move on to the bakery. So go ahead with your block of coal, place them all along the all along the top of the black stained glass and I will show you what it looks like once it is complete. So I will be right back. Now once you have all of your block of coal on top of all of the black stained glass with your sea lanterns, we're just going to go ahead and randomly place them around and hope that we end up with something good. If there's too many sea lanterns like cluttered together, you can always go ahead and just get rid of some if you don't like too many being in one spot. But just place a bunch of them around and hope that you end up with something good. I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this real quick. And this is basically what I ended up with. You can go ahead and copy this down if you would like to. It would be a little bit difficult, but this is what I ended up with. Now to see what it actually looked like, this is the final result of what it looks like. All lit up under here with these stars. So heading back out here, this is a little bit different now that we have the main hallway to Chica's Bakery. It's time for the main bakery itself. So the flooring is going to be super simple. All it is is just using blue concrete and blue concrete powder. So we're going to go ahead and grab our blue concrete and our blue concrete powder. So before we actually get into the main floor, there is a little bit of a continuation from this floor here. So we are going to have to grab our red concrete and red concrete powder. This continues out a little bit right out to the front and it just goes down kind of a little slope. So we bring this out right to here. It just goes out right to here and then it's going to go down one and this is where it ends. So the red, con the red concrete and then on top of it is the red concrete powder which is where it lines up with the actual floor. And then we are going to have to go ahead and grab our white concrete, light gray concrete, and gray concrete for this little pattern that does continue. So we're going to go ahead and grab this, and since I can't actually see it, I'm just going to go ahead and just start placing, because why not? It's, all it's going to do is just come down right to here, and that's where it's going to stop. Wait, yeah, same thing on this side, since I can't actually see where it starts. I'm just going to go ahead and start it like that, and just bring it out right to there. 
All right, now that we have this, we can go ahead and use our blue concrete. This is going to go ahead and go all the way around here. So for the floor, it's going to go all the way, all the way around these walls. It's going to skip around here. You're not going to go on the inside of this yet. All the way around here, around here, down on the little side here. And since this hallway leads into the bakery, just bring your concrete for now or your concrete. Yeah, just bring your concrete right to here. I'll show you what it looks like once it's done so you don't have to worry that much and bring it all the way around here so I'll show you what it looks like once it is done if you're a little confused and I will I also will have the blue concrete powder placed on top of it just so I'm not wasting up too much time it will go all the way around I think you probably get the point so I'll show you what it looks like once it is done if you're a little confused and I will be right back this is what it looks like this is what it should look like once it is complete it comes all the way around to here and just stops right in this little corner all filled in with blue concrete powder and blue concrete. I have obviously not gone into any of the bathrooms or the main bakery. This is what your final result should end up looking like. Now, just before we move on to the bakery, we're going to go ahead and fill up the walls all around the actual bakery itself. So with your Paul Shannon site, we're going to go ahead and bring this up right at the top, stopping right there. Same thing right on this side. And you're going to do the exact same thing with your pink concrete. That's going to come right up to here. And the exact same thing all the way down here. So I think you may get the point now. This is going to come all... You're going to raise all of these pink blocks. Every single pink block you see, except for over here. Just these walls right here. Same, actually... Sorry, lag. Same with this yellow concrete, actually. You're going to raise this up exact to the exact height as these pink concrete blocks right here. I'll show you what it looks like once it is complete. And just one thing, one more thing, just to let you know with your black concrete just go ahead and add one layer of black concrete on top of every single um pink concrete block that you raise up along the walls except for the yellow concrete so i'll show you what it looks like once it's done if you're a little confused and i will be right back so now that you have gone ahead and done that this is the, what the final result should look like you have the pink concrete blocks raised up all the way to this height with a layer of black concrete sitting on top same thing going around all on this side and on the yellow concrete there is no layer of black concrete sitting on top one thing i did miss though are these pillars right over here with your polish and inside just go ahead and raise these two pillars all the way up even color even coloring the black concrete and for this little part over here this is kind of a uh this is a cyan pillar um it's a little bit different i think it's a, i think it's a pipe that goes straight up into the roof so we're just gonna go ahead and do that now one more thing on the walls this is, we are not finished yet with your pink concrete we need to go ahead and add seven more blocks or seven more layers of pink concrete on top of all of this so from here it is one two three four five six seven and you have to do this on every single black concrete block that's why this is kind of a layer on all of this for the um polished and insight part right here so you would come all the way around and then this just continues actually, sorry this doesn't this actually stops right here and you're just literally going to bring all of these walls up. And there's no black concrete for you to place on top. It is just going to stop with your pink concrete. Same thing with the yellow concrete. This is going to go all the way up and just stop. I'll show you what this looks like. I'll show you what this looks like once it is done with these seven extra layers. And I will be right back. This is what it should end up looking like once it is all complete. Once you have added these seven extra layers of pink concrete going all the way around, including raising up these pillars. And the yellow concrete as well. You have raised it up all the way to the very top. Now that we have the main walls for the whole bit, or for the, the kind of outside walls for the bakery, we're going to go ahead and work on the main walls for the actual bakery itself. So we're going to go ahead and grab our gray, pink, polished and insight, and black concrete. We're going to go ahead and start right down here and place one extra layer of gray concrete going across, um, going across all the walls. Skipping over the polished and insight sections, um, I'll show you why in a second, and skipping over the pink concrete, we'll go ahead and fill that in. Uh, just raise up all the polished and insight around all of the corners. And also, go ahead with your pink concrete, just go ahead and raise one more layer up, if I can't lag. And now with your pink concrete, we're going to go ahead, real quick, one thing. This wall right here is actually not supposed to be here. It's just stopping right to here, and that's it, and this wall will continue back. So just go ahead and get rid of this whole entire wall. Then once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and place our pink concrete and place one, two, three, four, five, six right there, right below the black concrete. And we're just going to go ahead and place this all the way around. 
Now since this is going to be placed all the way around with your polished gem in sight, we're just going to go ahead and raise all of these up to the exact same height. Then, you're just going to go ahead and raise up all of your pink concrete all the way across the top. Now, for the glass part, we're just going to go ahead and add two extra layers on top of it. So, each window is three blocks high and two blocks wide. Now, with your pink concrete, just go ahead and go all the way around everything else on all the walls. And just raise the pink concrete all the way up to the exact height with the polished end in sight. And just, okay, and right here too, just go ahead and go above the door. And for this little opening that is right here, it is also three blocks high. So, you're just going to go up and then just go right over to make sure it's three blocks high and two blocks wide. Go ahead and do all of this real quick and I'll be right back. Then once you have gone ahead and raised up every single one of the walls, you're going to go ahead and grab your black concrete and we're just going to place one extra layer going on top of all of the walls all right here. And it's okay like on these corners since we're never going to actually see it, we're going to eventually fill in this whole roof using black concrete. Just go ahead and go in between the corners just like this. Same thing right there. Just go over it. And we're going to stop right into that wall. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is start working our way onto the inside. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do the uh, two bathrooms real quick. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. And to place in the floor, we're just going to break each of these blocks. And we're just going to go ahead and grab our polished end inside because that is the one block we're going to need. We are also going to go ahead and grab our pink concrete and lime concrete. Now the polished end inside is going to go ahead and just place right here. And you can fill in this whole little bathroom, very small bathroom, with polished end inside. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our door, our, let's see, crimson door. And just place it, you know what? I'm just going to bring this floor a little bit more in and we'll place the crimson door right there. Now we're going to go ahead and raise um, the pink concrete up two more blocks like this. So it is two blocks high. And then on top of that, we're going to go ahead and add one layer of lime concrete once you have brought all this around. Just grab your lime concrete and place one layer on top of all of this. And then you're going to go ahead and grab your quartz or your chiseled quartz and your sea lanterns with your iron trap doors. And the whole roof is going to be chiseled quartz blocks. And then the light is only, I believe there's only one light in here. Or no, there's two of them. One, two, and then we'll just place two trap doors just like this. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Okay, never mind. And that is the female bathroom. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way to the other bathroom. Go ahead and just place this little part down. And it's the exact same thing on that side. Just go ahead and get rid of most of this stuff. The whole floor is going to be polished and in sight just like this. And then the uh, walls are going to be all red concrete two layers of red concrete and then our light blue concrete we're gonna go ahead oh that is a little bit of a problem um well there's nothing much we can really do about that because if we shrink this down this is gonna be a two block wide bathroom and yet it's three blocks and that's really no help we're gonna we don't really have much of a choice we're gonna have to keep this wall there unfortunately um, but with your light blue concrete, just go ahead and place this around. I hate seeing the back wall like this, but we're going to have to stick with it for now. But we're then going to go ahead and grab our chiseled quartz, our sea lanterns, and our iron trap doors. The roof will once again be chiseled quartz. And then sea lantern, sea lantern, and two trap doors. Oh, and of course, the door for this bathroom is a warped door. Now what we're going to go ahead and do, that we have both bathrooms, we're going to go ahead and make our way onto the inside of the main bakery. So first of all, these doors right here, uh, the actual floor for this um, is also polished and in sight. So we're just going to place this down and also under the windows too, just so you don't see under the map. And with your doors, we're going to grab our iron doors, place two of them right here, grab our pressure plate. And we're going to grab the closest thing we can get to carpet. So we're just going to place our warped trap doors to get in. And the whole floor for this entire bakery is all polished and in sight. Even down to this part here, we're going to place our polished and in sight. And it's going to come all the way in here. You're even going to go into this little, this little spot and into this whole area here. Except for this little bathroom back here. Just fill in this whole area. 
and this whole area here, except for this. This is not a room. This is just a conveyor belt, and we'll have uh, the cupcake that sits here. So fill this whole floor in using your polished diorite, and I will show you what it looks like once it is done. So I'll be right back. There we go. This is what the entire floor should look like once it is complete. As you can see, I've skipped over there, and I've gone in every little area. I've skipped this bathroom. We're going to go ahead and do that last. But now, just to start raising the walls, we're going to grab our gray concrete and just raise up all of these spots, um, all of the gray concrete spots just by one block. So make sure you just raise all of these up by one block. And then all of the other walls will be a little bit different. Some of the walls are, are a little bit different than the others. So just raise all of this up. Alright, so this is what it should look like. Now, the rest of the walls is going to be calcite, and it's going to be the exact same height as the pink concrete, one block below the black concrete. Right here, we can go ahead and, oh wait, and also just make sure to raise this up. The roof is pink concrete as well, and then just bring the rest of the calcite up and around, and this whole side wall will be filled with all of calcite. And this little wall here is a little bit different. We will be using um, a different kind of block, because it's not calcite like all the other ones. We're going to be using stripped, warped, high... What, what is it? High Hi Fay? What what is high? I have no clue. Stripped warped, whatever it is. Stripped warped planks, whatever. We're just using this block for this actual wall. So just make sure to raise this whole wall up to the exact same height as the pink concrete as well. We can go ahead and continue raising these walls up with all of calcite. And make sure it's one block below the black concrete and raise this up. And then bring this little stone pillar down here. We're going to go ahead and raise this. Um, pillar up all the way to the exact same height as all the other blocks. Sorry if I'm lagging a little bit. I'm not exactly sure why I'm lagging. Make sure to bring this magenta pillar up and this light blue concrete pillar up all the way to the top as well. And then the rest of this side is going to be filled with calcite as well. We can go ahead and also raise up these stone pillars. These will be raised up all the way to the top. And the rest, of, we're not going to do the whole kitchen area, but every other wall besides the kitchen is going to be um, all using calcite. So just skip the kitchen area in the back, and we're just going to go ahead and do this area. So like, for example, um, like this pink wall, you can go ahead and fill this whole area in. We're going to skip over this section for now, because um, we don't exactly know. I don't exactly know the exact height for where that cupcake is going to fit, but make sure that something looks like that. The calcite will be this exact height going around this um, section here. Um, I'll show you what it looks like once it is complete. If you are a little bit confused, uh, just make sure don't do that kitchen area in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this whole area in with our walls, and I'll show you what it looks like in just one second. And there we have it. All of the Oh, this is a little bit too high. All of the walls are now completely filled in. This is what it should end up looking like. I have this room in, in here. Now, the roof for this part is not going to be exactly what you think it is. So the roof, we're going to go ahead and grab our chiseled quartz block. And we're going to come down to here, and we're going to skip one, two, three. On the fourth block, we're just going to fill this whole area in with the roof. Now, the top part doesn't matter because you're not going to actually see it. And there are actually no, like, lights, but there is, like, one kind of wall light that sits right here. So if you place it there, that is... Oh, wait, that's a little bit off. It's supposed to be three blocks high. All right, so right here, that... That's still off. Okay. Uh, move this down a little bit. So this is kind of like a wall light that just sits here and on the inside It is gonna end up looking a little bit like this on the inside So it lights up there on the inside and a little bit more on the outside now We're gonna go ahead and fill up this wall a little bit So with our pink concrete we can go ahead and bring this side up a little bit one block off from the light blue concrete That's where the conveyor is going to be then here We're gonna go ahead and skip two blocks and on the third block We're just gonna place row across and fill this whole area in this is where the cupcake or the massive cupcake that we're gonna try to make this is where it is going to sit. So now, um, we're going to go ahead and fill this area, or fill this cupcake in. So, let's see. We're going to go ahead and need our magenta concrete. We are going to need, um, we are going to need, oh yeah, we're going to need our quartz stairs for the teeth. This is, it's going to look pretty weird. Um, and lastly, our brown terracotta for kind of the, what do you call it, the, whatever it is. Um, start filling this area in with our magenta concrete. Bring this out by two more blocks. So it should end up looking something like this. And we're just going to go ahead. Let's see. So our um, conveyor this is going to kind of go into the mouth a little bit. So if we just dig out this area, place our stairs right there for the actual teeth. And we're going to go ahead and just um, place the conveyor right there. Or wait a minute. Uh, let's just grab our gray concrete for the actual conveyor. Kind of place this going around. And it will end up stopping. Let's see. Okay, that's actually. Wait, that's a little bit off. The teeth. Okay, the conveyor actually goes inside of it. So our brown ter uh, terracotta is actually what we need first. 
Uh, let's just place this here, replace these blocks, and then the pink uh, magenta concrete will sit on top. And let's just fill this whole area in here. And our quartz stairs right here facing this way. Then right after that, we're going to go ahead and start making the actual candle, which is going to be very cursed because this is like, this is only two blocks wide. Uh, we're going to try our best to make it. Let's just grab our shroom light and our white concrete, and we'll replace this with white concrete for like the wick, and then that for the glowing part of the candle. Oh god, that looks so cursed. Okay, uh, I, let's see, item frame, make the eyes, bam, shroom lights, boom. Oh god. Oh, that's, that is, I swear, that's like out of a horror movie or something. Okay. Well, it's going to work for now, so let's just go ahead and extend this conveyor belt all the way to the back. And we'll just bring our brown terracotta all the way out to here with our magenta concrete right out to here. Now, the candle, let's see, because the candle is not going to be four blocks wide. I don't, I don't think it's going to extend all the way to this side. Uh, because we're going to have a wall there, so I don't think we need, need to actually add it there. So we're going to keep it on that one side and that one side only. Um, I believe now we are done. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's really cursed, isn't it? Uh, well, now that we actually have that, we're going to go ahead and make our way to the actually actual kitchen area and start raising up the walls for this area. So let's just get rid of every item, and we're going to go ahead and grab our calcite once again. Now, this is going to be very easy. All it is is just raising up all of these blocks to the exact same height as the pink concrete. So we can bring this around, and it's going to come over. And you're just going to raise all these up to the exact height of the pink concrete. You're going to do this with all of these walls. You're not going to do the actual bathroom, because we're going to do that last. So just raise them all the way up to here, skipping the bathroom part, because um, we're once again, we're doing that last. And then just all these walls will be raised up. So go ahead and raise up all these walls just real quick, and I'll be right back. Now that we have all of the walls filled up for the whole kitchen area, we are now going to go ahead and move on to putting on the roof for the whole section of the bakery. We are going to be using um, chiseled quartz bricks, and since the roof is the roof is going to be one block shorter, it's not going to be sitting on top where the black concrete is, because that's going to be like the main roof that kind of covers all of this. So the chiseled quartz block we're going to have right to here, and since it doesn't really matter if it covers or goes over like a lot of the blocks because you're not going to see this from above it's going to be covered with black concrete so we'll just go ahead and set um the chiseled quartz blocks right here if i can if i do, how do you spell chiseled all right there we go all right so now that we have this whole roof filled in it doesn't really matter like this part it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see that from the underside of here and you're not going to see it from above as long as it, it just matters is if it covers the entire whole area um, now we're also going to need our smooth quartz block because there's a little section here, a little like dip down um, for the roof. So we're going to go to this part of the candle and place one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to that end, skipping two blocks on the end. And we're just going to go ahead and place this going all the way across to the other side of the bakery. And we're going to bring this all the way across. So let's just all right, let's go here, bring this. Oh, that is the wrong block type. All right, replace all this, and we're going to bring it all the way to this end, and we're going to set this to smooth, uh, smooth quartz. So it should end up looking something like this. And now to put on the roof for here. So this is the exact same roof as the other one. It is just chiseled quartz blocks. Once again, we're just going to go ahead and fill in this whole area using our chiseled quartz blocks right here. And then once we have done that, let's see, there we go. Now that we have the whole entire roof for the kitchen of the bakery and the other part of the bakery, we're now going to move on to the final part, which is these, which is this little bathroom, which is going to be pretty, sim pretty simple. And then we'll go ahead and finish up this last part and put on the roof for the, the outside of the bakery. Uh, so we're going to go down here and grab our polished diorite. And the whole entire floor on the inside of this bathroom is all polished diorite. Let's go ahead and place this whole area in. And for the walls, it's going to be half and half uh, we're gonna grab our calcite and place one extra layer of calcite and then we're gonna go ahead and need our white terracotta so let's go back into here and grab our white terracotta and I believe it is what is it three no three is too high it's, um, yeah all right two blocks high covering the top so uh, two two blocks of calcite two blocks of white terracotta place this all the way going across the top and then the roof once again is going to be chiseled quartz block and we'll grab our sea lanterns with our iron trap doors and let's see, the door is going to be crimson door. We'll just place that right there. Now with our chiseled quartz blocks, just go ahead and fill this whole area in. And then with our sea lanterns, um, I'm not exactly sure where the lights are. I think, how is this going to work? Because this is uh, four by four. So the lights, we'll just place two lights here and trapdoors on top. So it should end up looking like that. 
Now we have the entire inside of the bakery complete. Last, oh, one thing. Let's go ahead and grab our pressure plates so we can actually get out of the bakery. There we go. Last thing we're going to go ahead to do is just place on the roof and the last bit of walls here, which actually won't take very long. So what we need to do now is just go ahead and grab our pink concrete. So this part of the wall is not going to cover all of it. We're just going to be continuing from this yellow concrete. It's going to come all the way over to here and it is going to line up with this let's see with that pink concrete right there we'll bring this all the way down right to here and there we go so this whole section this whole open space will be filled in with all of the black concrete and then this whole wall will be raised up to the exact same height as all the others using pink concrete i'll show you what it looks like in one second so i will be right back once you have completed it, this is what it should look like. All the walls should be filled up to the exact same height, and the whole roof is now filled in with all of the black concrete. Now, uh, as you can see, the outside is obviously not filled in, because you're not going to see it. Now, there's just one last thing to do, and that is place on the whole roof for the outside of the bakery, which we, we will be using our block of netherite. This whole entire area will be filled in with our block of netherite as the roof. All of this will be filled in, so I am going to go ahead and just place all of this block of netherite here on this roof and I'll show you what it looks like once it is done on the outside and what it looks like on the inside there we go this is the final result of what it should end up looking like as you can see it is completely filled all around and if we head on down to the inside this is what it should end up looking like obviously if you don't have night vision like me it is going to be very dark so like we did at the very end of the daycare we are going to go ahead and this is if you want to you don't have to i'm going to go ahead and give myself the light block and this is where i will be able to manually place light around so you can always change the tick size or the size of light or brightness i don't know if this is available on bedrock bedrock like i said but you're able to just place these all around just a whole just to light up the whole place you can go ahead and just spam all these around and once again, I don't I don't know if it's on bedrock. I think I mentioned that in um, at the very end of the daycare. Um, but yeah, just place all these around until you th until you really like how how bright it is. Now, if you don't like these actual like light spots, like you can see there, how like m specifically lit it is, you can always change the actual brightness until you get the perfect amount of brightness, or just fill it all in until it is completely bright. You can go ahead and do the same thing for the inside of the bakery as well. But then once you have done that, we have completely 100% finished the entire walls, floors, and roofs, except for the main roof for the main atrium. But we have finished all of the walls and floors for the entire main atrium. Now, I'm not going to say anything about the next upcoming video, but the next video will be still, it will still be a tutorial on Security Reach. It will just be a little bit different, I'll say. It's going to be on the atrium. It's just going to be an episode that you would not expect at all. Um, I'm not really going to get uh, too much into it. I'll explain more in the next episode. But this is going to be it for now. And finally, now that we've completed all the walls and floors, we are able to move on to the last episode, which will be coming next week. That is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos on this. I'm glad that we have now have uh, that we now have all of the walls and floors finished for the whole entire atrium, and we can finally move on to something else. The next episode will be a tutorial on the atrium, but it will be a little bit different. It will be an episode that you will not expect and probably would not want to hear about, but I will explain everything in that episode. But that is going to wrap it up for today's video, and I hope that you all enjoyed, and I will of course see you all in my next video. See ya.